Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to do some searchandising with Webster Commerce. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a few rules to modify search results on some given keywords and also do some product recommendations uh, in, the, in one of the sidebars uh, based on that uh, search term. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're here in the Madison store. This is a Webster based starter store uh, that has a bunch of products, a bunch of uh, advertisement and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this site for our demonstration. And what we want to try here is we gonna, we're going to search for coffee. Now you'll notice that the Webster search has all kinds of recommendations things like suggested keywords suggested categories and it also suggests some unstructured content like recipes videos PDFs etc but we're just gonna go ahead and hit enter on coffee and you'll see here that we now have a bunch of different uh, uh, coffee makers and products return but something just doesn't look right um, like for instance over here our recommendations are sofas now I guess we might want to recommend sofas if you want to drink coffee and sit on a sofa but that just doesn't look right um, and I also want to move this particular Sharpson product all the way up to the top of the list uh, you know we've got a special on that we want to have it to be you know right up at the top so what we're going to do is we're going to use the management center which is a business user tooling uh, to set up some search result rules to both put the Sharpson up at the top of the list and then fill out this recommendations based on uh, the search term coffee so let's go ahead and get started okay we're here in the management center and I've opened up the marketing tab and we're on the Madison East site so we do have a current rule that boosts up the recommendation for coffee makers uh, by manufacturer so we do see a boost factor for sharps and coffee makers but what we really what we also want is the ability to specify a top search result so we're going to go ahead and pick one of these templates uh, which is the specify top search results and we'll go ahead and recommend red coffee maker and we're going to search for exactly one of these values which is coffee and for the search result we want to put our our product in there so we're going to search the whole system for coffee anything with coffee in it and I'm actually going to show you a neat little trick here this is a this is actually a customizable tool so we can come in here and we can configure the columns and I'm going to put the name, I'm going to put the thumbnail in there. So if we come in here, we'll actually be able to see a picture of the coffee maker that we want to push up to the top. There's a couple of red ones. I think it was actually up here. Here we go, right here. So we want to promote this guy to the top. We'll close our little utility pane. There you go, digital 12 cup, coffee maker, red. So now when the customer submits a search for coffee and uh, they get the list, this should be the first entry in the return results. So we're going to save this and we're going to go ahead and enable it. So let's go ahead and close that. All right, the next thing we're going to do is actually set up the rule to um, put some recommendations in the sidebar but we're going to use some preview tool uh, to help figure that out so let's go ahead and get started with that 
So in order to figure out what we got to do, we're going to have to use the uh, preview function. And this is going to allow us to open the site inside of the tooling so we can figure out what eSpot we want to create a web activity for. So we'll launch the store and once we come up we're going to come in here and we're also going to search for uh, coffee just like we did before. Hit enter. And you can already see that um, the one rule has already taken place. So we've got the digital 12 cup coffee maker red right at the top of the list. Um, but these recommendations still look a little annoying. So we're going to go ahead and show the marketing spots on this page. And you can see here that the name of this particular spot is called right sidebar feature products so that is the activity uh, the web um, e-spot that we're going to create a web activity for to recommend you know some uh, intelligent uh, things here maybe some filters for instance so let's go ahead and um, create that activity so we're going to come in here and we are going to create a brand new activity and we're going to do a category entry recommendation okay. we don't need to see a video on it and we'll just say let's see here recommend for coffee Okay. and we could type in right and it'll do the rest for us there we go right sidebar featured products so that's going to be the e spot and we're going to actually specify a list of category entries and we're going to just search for filter Let's look at some of these over here. I mean, we could put at, we could put any products in there we want. What we can do is we'll just do this one. I guess we could do a couple other ones here, and then we can also search for coffee again. Maybe bump some other highly recommended things like a coffee table. There we go. Uh, maybe some teacups. There you go. I'll put another set of cups in there. So what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to configure these columns and look at them. And I'm going to look at and try. I think I'm going to remove this one a drip coffee here and delete it. Okay. So that's that's a recommendation. But what we want to do is we want to come in and um, place you know what page uh, that the person is currently on oops so that's actually under targets sorry about that so we're gonna we're gonna set hey if the current page and we're gonna come in here customer is viewing a category no customer is viewing search results that's what we want to pick so we want to say, hey, if we are searching any of the following keywords and it's exactly one of these, go ahead and continue. So we're going to put in coffee in there. And we could also use synonyms. But what I want this to do, I want this to override the current advertisement. So we're going to bump up the priority to this by a couple hundred to make sure that this activity overrides any other activities when coffee is searched for. So let's go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and enable it.
and now we can go and test it in the website. All right, so if we just go over to the browser and come to the home page and we just search for coffee like we did before, you get the same suggestions. But now you'll notice a couple things. You'll notice not only is our red coffee maker up front, but the recommendations are the ones that we put in there, the four different things. So this is a way where you can completely control what the shopper sees in the different e-spots all throughout the site, just using this basic rule paradigm. And you know this is a pretty basic rule here. You pick the e-spot, uh, you tell it, hey, if we're on a search result page and the keyword is coffee, go ahead and recommend these entries. And that's pretty much it. And that, uh, that concludes this demo. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.